Hello friends, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. This is Crafting with Lucretia, in case you don't know who I am. So, hi, I'm Lucretia. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I hope you're doing great today. It's finally sun shining and the weather's nice and everything. So, let's... I'm going to work on my Rainbow Bright kit. You guys work on whatever you want to work on, whether it's sewing, diamond painting, drawing, whatever you're into, okay? Just, just pull it out. We're going to whip and chat. I'm going to do whip and chat and do a little work on my own kit. But first, I wanted to showcase a fairly new to me pin maker. Okay, now they are called Bistro Exclusives over there on Facebook and Etsy. And they, have, they do pin drops over on Facebook, okay? So you see a pin you like, you put your name, you say, pick me, and you may get the chance to win the chance to purchase the pin, right? So recently, over the last couple of weeks, I need to include that one. This is one I bought several months ago, okay? This, this is, of course, I bought all of them, but... Um, this was my first one that got me started, and this was the owl one. You guys have seen that one. Let me zoom in a little bit. Zoom in. Oh, i got to find the sweet spot again. There we go. There we go. So this is the one I bought that started me off on, on Bistro Exclusives. And it's that lovely wintry owl. And can you blame me? It's a lovely win wintry owl, and I love it. You can see I'm using it. <laughs> it's got... It's got... Uh, putty in it at the moment. So let me show you what I've recently acquired. Now some of these did come with cover minders and I'll show them here in a minute. Um, this one I've lost the uh, feel for and I don't remember all of their names but this one is Teddy is a teddy bear and a rose and you can zoom in on these if you want to see them in detail. And they're just they're just gorgeous pins and they feel good in my hands so yeah, that's one I'm, I've got my straightener on that. This one I got because, well, you'll you'll see. It, we know Mojo is not a bulldog, but it says "I love Mom" on his shoulder on his tattoo. If you zoom in right there, it says "I love Mom," and and Mojo definitely does love his mother. <laughs> okay, so there's that pin. Um, this one was another cute one. I saw, I thought about getting the other one to it. They had two, that one was uh, pretty pink and gold ones, and I was like, nah, I'm not really big on pink, but, so I got this one that looks like the dog's outside playing, so this one's just a little puppy dog. You guys know me and my dogs. It, there's, there's a lot of dogs in this one. <laughs> Beware. There was a few other things, but yeah. This one is Blue Unicorn. I remember the name of this one. This one's a Blue Unicorn. Obvious reasons. Obvious reasons. It's blue. And it's got a blue unicorn with a with a mane in it. So yeah. And then of course we got spring coming up, so we had to get Weenie the Pooh. Now they did have one here uh, last week, I think, when they did their last week pin drop. They had the little donkey from Weenie the Pooh Eeyore. I tried for it, but I didn't get it. But you know, I'd like to get the other critters: Tigger, the donkey, Piglet. Now that one had a little baby pig Piglet in it. But, you know, a bigger one. You know. Cartoon favorites. Now, this one is my hubby's get out of the doghouse gift. Because our anniversary is coming up. And I'm pretty sure he's forgotten yet again. Even though it's on Valentine's Day, a national holiday, girls. Just because you, you put your, your anniversary on a national holiday does not mean they're going to remember. So, just in case, I always try to pick myself out a little something something. So I can say, oh, don't worry, you got me something. Well, this is his, he got me something. It's Mickey and Minnie in their wedding attire in, in a blue background with candy Mickey Mouse ears. And they're in their wedding attire. And look at the back of that. It's gorgeous. So this is his get out of the jail, uh, get out of the doghouse type thing, wedding present, because 25 years, y'all. 20, 25 years. Okay. And since that had silver in it, I figured that would be perfect for a silver anniversary gift. <laughs> 25 years. Okay. And here's some of the cover minders that came with it. I'm not going to take them out of the bag because that just takes too long. I want to get on with my diamond painting. Here is a Mickey Mouse. And a heart. Another Mickey Mouse. It's a heart. It's 
says, I love you. I heart you. So, yeah. And then there's another heart. I think this one was the one that's supposed to come with the unicorn. So, yeah, that, that's that one. And then I got a Weenie the Pooh with a blue flower. He, he's cute. And then the other one is Baby Minnie playing a violin, which, you know, yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, that's my recent haul. I'm, I'm loving my pins, and I'm dabbling in more and more stuff, which I probably shouldn't, but, you know, you know me. So let's get working on our kit. You know I'm working on my Rainbow Bright from Dreamer Design. This is by Reagan Q Quebec. It is actually called Rainbow Dreamer. And I'm having a blast with this one, y'all. It, it's... Uh, I was telling my husband he was getting ready for work, and I was coming in here to work on this because I was just bored. And, you know, it keeps the boredom away, and it helps with my anxiety. So I was coming in here to work on this. And he's like, boy, you're flying through that one. I was like, yeah, I'm loving this one. It's just the right amount of color blocking, just enough. I mean, it doesn't really have any confetti in it at all you know, until I maybe get to her face, but it's, it's, I, I've really been enjoying this kit. So, go look at Dreamer if you still want this kit. Um, it's, it's working out beautifully. Their quality is really good. I, I, I can't say enough, enough good things about Dreamer. I really can't. They're my, one of my other go-to companies. I, I love that they deal with licensed artwork. I really don't care if they use AI or not anymore, you know, I, one, I really don't know exactly what all that is, but, you know, if an artist wants to use the computer to, uh, you know, help draw something, by all means, let them. I cannot draw. I'm, I'm, I'm trying, I'm taking part in Miss Coffee's uh, Twitch over here in Twitchland, and she's doing traditional art on a couple days a week. Our recent prompts have been, uh, what was it? Something about Mardi Gras. Like you're driving around Mardi Gras. Okay. And um, what was the other one? She, it was a person of color for like black history or something. Try to draw a person of color with wavy hair. And it has to be like from the waist up, I think it was. Or maybe it was the chest up. I don't know. But, yeah, um, and another one was a dragon, and I'm like, yeah, um, I'm having enough trouble drawing the teddy bear and flowers. Yeah, so, yeah, um, um, <laughs> I'm having issues with the drawing, <laughs> needless to say. And I can't think of anything, maybe you guys can help me think of something to draw, a prompt for, uh, something to draw for, for Mardi Gras when you're driving. The only thing I could really think of was like the rear view, rear view mirror of a car and having the Mardi Gras beads come down off of it. I, I don't know. That, that's the only thing I could come up with. Driving Mardi Gras, you know, and have feathers coming down from it. I, I don't know. That's what I was thinking about. But, you know, we'll see how, how well that, that ends up. I have till Saturday, and that's another couple days. So we shall see. I may not put it on her wall of, of, to, to show because... I may just, I'm, I usually just draw along with it. Sometimes I've shown it, but it's like, yeah, those guys are a lot much better at it than I am. Mine looked like a kindergartner did it. But that's okay. It kills the time. I get to concentrate on something else, right? Yeah. Oh, goodness. So, let me tell you a little bit about my week. Sorry, I'm rambling. I tried to go to book club this last uh, Thursday. It was for the Baker's Book Club, and I missed out on some yummy sounding peanut butter cupcakes. <sighs> I'm kind of sad, but kind of glad in the same aspect because, you know, being a recent diabetic, I do not need to eat that. That probably would have killed me, but it would have been worth it because the lady that was making them, she can cook. She, she can cook. Uh, so once once a month, I do bake, we do Baker's Book Club, and once a month, we go and talk about the book and make something from said book. This week it was her turn and she chose the peanut butter cupcakes out of the book. And I'm like, Ugh. yeah. But unfortunately, my little car had other ideas. It had other ideas. So I get up to the city that the, the, the library is in, only a couple of blocks away from the library, okay? I literally could have walked to the library, but the shop owner at the cap coffee place, I, I go in, I get my coffee, chat with them for a bit. Go out, 
get my car to go around the corner to the book club. I'm on time. Everything's hunky-dory. I've got time to sit there and, and sip on my coffee. And uh, I go to start my car. It doesn't start. It doesn't flicker the lights. It doesn't make that one click, click, click sound like it's the battery. It doesn't do anything. It's just dead in the water. And come to find out, my phone was down on its last leg of the battery. So it's not like I could really call a lot of people for help. And so I sent a message to my book club because they have a little group on, on Facebook. And I was like, hey, anyone coming over to the coffee shop, pick me up because Lucy's car won't go. I guess no one went to the coffee shop that day because no one texted me or came over to see how I was doing. Because, you know, I tried to reach, I went into the coffee place and I was like, hey, I'm having car trouble. Can you, uh, you know, a good mechanic in town? And they're like, uh, well, we, we use blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, great. Got a phone book. I can get the phone number out. Younger generation, please learn what a phone book is. Thank you. <laughs> they were like, what's a phone book? Yeah. Yeah. Younger generation running it. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. A big book with numbers. Little book with a whole bunch of phone numbers for area businesses. Usually yellow in color. And we're like, no, we, we haven't had one of those in years. And I'm like, oh, yeah. okay. Could you look up the number and help me, please? Because my car's dead in your front parking lot. And so she was nice. She looked up a couple numbers for me and gave them. And, uh, yeah, I did, did have a guy come by. I put my hood up and called this guy. I was like, hey, I'm going to have my hood up at in front of the coffee shop here on, on Blah Blah Street, you know? And he's like, okay, you're right down the road from me. I'll, I'll come I'll come help you. Well, by the time he came showed up, one of the patrons in the coffee shop, she came out with her with her coffee and her kid, and she was like, and, and you can tell I'm in the South, okay, because this, this is literally how she said it. She's like, hon, do you need a jump start? Are you having car trouble? And I'm like, yes, my yes, yes I am. I, I don't have my hood up for no reason, you know. And, and she's like, oh, let me holler at, at uh, my my husband. He's he's a mechanic and he has a, a jump thing in his truck. And she's like, honey, come here. And he was over there helping the flower beds the next next business over. And he, you know, <laughs> he came a run and he's like, yeah, hon, what is it? And uh, he, he's a sweet, sweet kid. And um, I wish I'd gotten their names because they were, they were both very, very sweet. And the kid was up, up there handing me his toy cell phone. He's like, here, you can call for help and use my toy phone. And I'm like, oh, thanks, kid. That won't help. But husband came. He jumped my car. He, he was like, hey, it's either the starter or the, the battery or the alternator. I'm like, okay, well, I'm heading straight home. By then, book club was over. I'd been out there for about an hour and a half trying to get some help and trying to figure out what was wrong with my car. And uh, so I'd missed book club, missed the cupcakes. <sighs> Thankfully, the next book is also on Hoopla, so I can download it. And I saw an audio version. I'm going to grab it, and uh, I can listen to it while I'm diamond painting, which is what I like to do anyway. But... Anyway, the guy jumped my car. I got back home. Uh, it was a busy day. It was hubby's full day at work. It, he worked from like 8 o'clock till 8 o'clock. 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. It was his long Thursday. His Thursdays are his booger days. They are just so long. I never see him. Get up, have breakfast, ship him out the door. I go out the door usually to a doctor's appointment or a book club. Or in this case, to a mechanic shop. <laughs> and... Um, so yeah, it, it stopped on me yet again on my way home. Did not make it home. And so I, I made it to my city. Did not make it home. And I made it to my own little city and I had, you know, if I'm in my city, I know where the mechanics are. are and so I have a, a few friends in my city and I was like, hey man, I'm over here on Sunset Street. My car just died. I'm in the middle of the street. 
please come get me. It won't start. I don't know what's wrong. I got my flashers on. This is where I'm at. Um, please come hook up to me and, and at least get me out of the street. Tell me back to the house something. And so he, he did. He's a sweetheart. And um, unfortunately, he only works in this city. The, the library was like three cities over. So, you know, he didn't quite reach to that city. And uh, trust me, I tried. <laughs> and um, so anyway, he grabs my car and, p you know, we, we take it over to the to a shop. And it's been there since Thursday. <laughs> now, he's been really, really busy, and I get that. But I miss my car. I really am missing my car. And he just called a little bit ago before my husband, hubby walked out. And, um, he dropped, the, the mechanic dropped me back off the house, took my car keys, and, uh, I got my house key, and he dropped me back off the house so I could, wouldn't have to wait, and, and, uh, hubby came home Thursday night, and he's like, he didn't think I was home, and he, he came in cautiously, and he's like, honey, where are you at? Are you home? And I was like, yeah, I was in there watching TV, you know? Or I might have been in here diamond painting. I don't know. I've been kind of irritated with everything. So I've been diamond painting a bit more. So I think I was working on, on this one. So anyway, I told him what had happened. I was like, hey, my, my car is up here at the fix-it shop. And, um, you know, the guy's thinking it's, it's either one of three things. It's the battery, the starter, or the alternator. Well... Today, they started working on it, and they were able to diagnose that it was not the battery or the alternator. And when they tested the starter, yep, it was the starter getting bad in it. So, they've got the part to ordered to for my starter. So, hopefully the next day or two, I will have my car back. <sighs> so, yeah. I miss my car. I miss, miss being able to take Mojo out to the park. He was a nice dude. He would love the park. He's loving the outside, but pl went out there and, and played Frisbee with him earlier to kind of make up for not being able to take him to the park. I'm like, Mama's car broke. You'll just have to play Frisbee and, and fetch here in the yard, which we have a big, big, like, acre-sized yard, so it's, it's no big deal. He can play nicely in our yard. <laughs> So, yeah, that's what I've been doing. And thankfully, we had the guy called today, like I said, and told us that, yes, it was the starter. This is how much it's going to be. Um, you know, Quincy answered the phone, and he's like, yeah, go ahead and fix it. And thankfully, we have just enough to pay that bill. Y'all, God, God is good. God, God, is, God is really doing good. You know, he's really doing things and keeping us on our toes and Providing just just enough to to make it through the day, he he gives us our daily bread. Thank you, Lord. That's all I'm gonna say on that one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Should be breaking out the song. Thank you, Lord, for the good times and, and all the rest of the songs that I'll probably get copyrighted for. But I've been I've been listening to more music. But that's what I've been doing there. there. And um, let's see. <sighs> Isn't that enough? That, that's a lot of stuff to go over, isn't it? Be sure to grab you some tea. Um, okay, so the neighbors are moving. The neighbors that have the two huskies that I've talked about that Mojo loves. Yeah, they're, they're going to be moving. Uh, the husband got a better job offer with the same company that he's with. He's just transferring to another place for a better job. So kudos to them. Um, I, I really hope that, you know, and so their house is on the market, so we've been having lots of people rundering around the neighborhood and <laughs> in the backyard next door, and Mojo's like, rrr, 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 rrr. I'm like, yeah. You tell him, there's a dog next door, and he don't play. <laughs> really, Mojo's a sweet dog. He won't hurt anybody, but, you know, they don't know that. They're like, had a lady over there. She's like, oh, he's the big dog. I'm like, he's not even a big dog. <laughs> okay, he's the size of a healer. He's not the size of a lab or a, a Newfoundland or a St. Bernard. He's, he's 
a medium, what they call a medium sized dog, medium to large sized dog. Like he is, he's friendly. Well, I hope we get good neighbors out of it. I really like this kid and his wife. He, they haven't, they've only been there for, I don't know, three or four years, I think. Not that long, it doesn't seem like. But they've been good neighbors. They, they've been really good neighbors. No, not too many parties and whatnot. And we're getting older, so we don't want party or people, you know, hopefully beside us. That would be kind of rough. Especially when Quincy gets up on, you know, on the week weekend to work. It's just kind of rough. Oh, goodness. Okay, that's that section of O's. Let's work on the horses here. So, yeah, I'm hoping for good neighbors. Hoping, the, you know, for the best for the, for the current neighbors that are in the process of moving. I know, I know very well what that's about. And in the process of moving, and, you know, when hubby gets transferred, that's how we ended up in Missouri. <laughs> You know, that's how we got here. His job transferred us, and we had some other things going, and yeah. So we, he got transferred, and we got moved here to Missouri. Never thought in a million years that I'd be living in Missouri, y'all. It's like a state away from where I was born and raised. And it feels strange, because I keep seeing pictures of home on the internet, and I'm like, hmm... I had a friend that she's up there in Arkansas, and um, she posted pictures of a beautiful place of, of, of my old hometown city on the internet, right? And she's into kind of photography and whatnot, and uh, so she took a picture of her and her son over on the overlook, and I saw that overlook, and I just about mm, wept into tears. I, I did. I broke down in tears. I'm like... I know exactly where that's at, and I haven't seen that in years, and I want, I kind of got homesick for Arkansas, so, yeah, and then she went to, uh, it's a college town that she was in, that she's in, and um, she took co pictures of the college campus, and, and one of them, she didn't mean to, she didn't even know it was my dad's old office, and she shot a picture of my dad's old office, and I'm like, uh, now, for all that you that don't know, my dad worked at the university there for 40 plus years, almost 50 years before he got diagnosed, diagnosed with cancer and had to retire, okay? He had been gone for like 20 years. But I was a daddy's girl, and I still very much miss him. And so when I saw the old building that I grew up in, I'm still kind of getting choked up about it now, so overlook me, but it was just humbling to see the pictures of, of how I remembered it and how it is now, and it's just like, ah, home. I grew up in that office right there, you know. Okay. Anyway, enough on that topic. I'm hoping in our neighborhood, in our neck of the woods, let me know down below. We had Groundhog Day the other day. In your neck of the woods, did your groundhog see his shadow? Ours did, so I guess we have an, that means we're going to have an early spring, which is a good thing. I want the, uh, the uh, farmer's markets to open. I'm, uh, yeah, I want the farmer's markets to open. <laughs> That's what I would love. I, I like my fresh garden veggies. I'm not going to try to plant a garden this year. I learned my lesson. It's just too much work. I'm not going to not going to do that. But anyway, I'm looking forward to the market and and warmer weather to stay. I know we'll probably have one or two more bouts of cold weather. It's 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 Missouri. It's it's kind of like I, I, again, I was talking to my husband the other day and well, last week whenever uh, our heater went out uh couple weeks ago and we just got it refixed a couple weeks ago right so a couple weeks ago we had that polar thing that came through half the world half the United States and made everyone cold and think about winter right our heater went out in that yes so we were holed up in the bedroom with a space heater and a fake fireplace and 
that was we just stayed in in this in the bedroom until we got the heater fixed and thankfully it was already in the works we knew it was getting weak and so we had the guy um we had taken estimates and all that fun stuff of you know hey someone needs to come fix it yada yada estimates so we knew who to go with we just had to wait on the bank to do the paperwork and then we had to wait on the guy to get us in the books <laughs> And sure enough, winter came, and it came and knocking hard and knocked out our heat. <laughs> it was too much for our little heater, heater to handle, and so it knocked out our heat, but we managed. And so, I think it was Saturday, Sunday, and Monday we had to make it. And he came out Tuesday to start fixing it. Now, it was a brand new install, so it was a pretty good sized job. And it took him until Saturday to, to get it installed and working. And we had a couple hiccups here and there, but, you know, he got it working. And so now I'm ready. Now this thing is quiet as a mouse. I'm ready for spring. I've got a good air conditioner so I can stay cool. I've got a good heater, so bring on winter now that winter's over and the groundhog saw a shadow. So, <laughs> oh, well. So much for that one. So I've been having to share with Hubby's truck, and uh, I actually got had to drive it the other day yesterday for one of the first times. And he stayed awake to make sure the truck got back because I'm not the best driver, and that was the first time I'd had to drive the truck, right? So we needed some a few things from the grocery store. I'm like, yeah, I'll just run up here to the grocery store and. Um, see about getting the bread and the chips for his lunches and, and whatnot, right? I'm like, yeah, I'll be back. I'll be back soon. So I took the truck and and uh, went to the grocery store, got what we needed and came back. Everything was okay. He was glad that the truck was, was back. And I'm going to have to borrow it again tomorrow because I have a doctor's appointment, but I'm hoping tomorrow that my car gets comes out of the shop. But probably not before my doctor's appointment, so, <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping tomorrow, Quincy's off tomorrow, after, or tomorrow anyway, so, you know, they can, they can get it back, as long as they get it back tomorrow, it'd be great, because he has to work Wednesday and Thursday, it's coming up on his, his rough days, so if he can just, just hang on another couple days, and we'll have our, 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 ve our my vehicle back, yay. You never know how attached you get to something until you don't have it. Let me tell you, because you just, you, you kind of take it for granted that it's always going to be out, out front to take you somewhere, and then when it breaks down, you're like, and, and you're stuck, and you're like, hmm, yeah, lovely. I'm stuck. I have no way to go. Hubby went to work, so. But that's okay. That's why God made diamond painting, right? Like I said, I'm, I'm having fun working on the kit, passing the time, but it is getting about dark, so I guess I better get off here and go let Mojo back in. He's been awfully quiet. He's probably asleep under the tree, knowing him. That's where he was earlier when I went. He's been outside most of the day, so I'll go out there and look, check on him and bring him in for the night. If it's light, I still may throw the Frisbee around for him. I think I'll go do that. But anyway, cut this up for a bit. Give my eyes a break. Sometimes you gotta take your, take a break, you know? You just gotta take a break. So while I go take a break and take care of my dog, you guys go take your break. And I appreciate you stopping in and visiting with me. Remember to recommend me to friends that, you know, may like my content. Like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment down below what you're working on, how you're doing, yada yada, okay? Well, with that being said, I'm going to let you go, and I hope you have a great day, and stay safe and stay crafty, okay? Alright, bye! Have a good one!